Hi and welcome to a new Tech Stuff episode on my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the new eSheen diversity module for fat jar goggles. Just a short unboxing and first look today to see what we get inside this little box. So let's open the box. We have the receiver inside and as you can see a uh, piece of foam and nothing else. So no manual instructions but uh, as we can see later it's also not necessary to get a manual with uh, a receiver. It's simple to use so okay like this. So Okay, so here we go. This is the receiver. Um, you have two antenna connectors. In my case, it's RPSMI. Reason is just because I always used RPSMI antennas, so I ordered uh, the RPSMI version. You can also get it in SMI version. Um, it's around $24, so it's super cheap uh, diversity module and uh, we will see if this will work fine, but today we just have a look at it and uh, the functions, the menu, and that's it. We have an OLED display on it for a nice view also in, in bright sunlight. We will see how good this thing will work. The switch, uh, which is where you can go through your menu, switch channels and uh, frequency bands and all the functions. On the back uh, we have the connector to the fat shark goggle, goggles and uh, 3M piece of uh, double sided tape to fix the receiver on the goggles. One negative point is that, that you can't get a case for this receiver. Perhaps there are other uh, 3D printed cases for different receivers you can per perhaps use for this one too. I don't know if this is like this, but with the tape uh, you can uh, fix it well in your goggles. So it's just a bit exposed on your goggles when we put it in like this. That's how it looks when it's mounted. So it's just a bit off the goggles case. And, but that's also needed to, to use uh, your selector uh, for channels and everything. Let me turn on and let's see what happens. So, okay, here we have chosen uh, band and channel. You can see uh, which antenna is selected at the moment. You can also see it in the LED, which is lit up. Um, between A and B it switches. You can see in which mode you are, it's diversity in this case, and you can see the frequency which is actually set. Here we go with uh, installed antennas. Uh, just a little bit long tail here, but uh, the advantage is that you can uh, change your angle as you want to have it. Let's have a look at the menus. If we go inside here, you can you have the possibility to choose a channel or frequency band. You can uh, do frequency search and you can go to menu where you can choose a fixed antenna, uh, RXA, RXB or diversity, which automatically changes between A and B. The antenna which uh, gives you the stronger signal will be chosen if you choose a uh, diversity mode and you can the beep you can hear right here, you can turn it on and off, so it's quiet if you choose anything in your menus. And uh, back to exit. So the quad is on now and um, we can start uh, searching. Let's have a look. Uh, here we go, whoops, sorry for this. Uh, here we go for search and he's already scanning. That's it, and he chooses B2, which is uh, 5752. Uh, diversity mode actually, the antenna B, so my patch antenna, is the preferred antenna, which gives the better signal. And um, yeah, it will change between these antennas. 
one negative point is that it switches back pretty fast uh, when you're in this menu point here if you don't do anything it takes just one or two seconds and you're back uh, out of menu that's a little bit uh, annoying not not a big deal just because you don't you won't change every day um, uh, your frequency or your channel and um, what else it's also a nice thing is that you can use your your uh, channel buttons on on your goggles to to change uh, the channel so we can go through through the channels from one to eight in each band you can also go down when you go into the menu and you want to change your your channel you can do it like this and when you're out of the menu if we go back you just can change it up ways if you go if you pull down your selector then you change the channel and if you go if you pull up then you change your frequency band and it's also with race bands for sure and so you can go through the bands and through the channels without uh, entering any menu uh, it just works like this that's also a nice feature Okay, I hope you liked the video, give me a thumb up if you like it, subscribe, share, comment, and as always, happy flying. Bye bye.